Star in Lebanon. Don't forget. So today we are going to Basquinta. It's the first time I'm going there. We're gonna stay in Odom retreat. We're trying to now um, escape the city with this traffic and hoping also to make it on time because they say it's gonna be a huge, huge storm today in the evening. I hope we're gonna make it uh, up there before the storm starts. So I'm gonna update you if we survive. Show you the room. So cozy. Look at this. Really love the fireplace. Can't see the view now at night, but you can see Beirut over there, which is really cool. And I like that you can go up to there. I'm gonna show you the bathroom of our dome. This is the dome. You have here uh, tea, water, blankets, book. <laughs> so for dinner we ordered room service. Both of us ordered chicken with uh, thyme, grilled um, potatoes and uh, kale and quinoa salad and honestly the food is really good what i really like about this place is that it's not cold like everything is very heated so you're feeling very comfortable this room like the one we took cost uh, 225 dollars a night but there are smaller domes they are for 180 dollars this one is a bit bigger and there is also three beds. Up there, one more, and here. I don't know if this is considered a bed <laughs> for someone. Maybe it's actually also a bed if you put there like a blanket. Okay, so I just have one simple question. How are we gonna get back home with the, this situation? Oh, there are doggies. Hi! Hi! Hello! Hi! 
If you visit Odom Retreat, you will see there are four dogs. One of them is already nine years old. She was bought by the place and then she gave birth to the puppies. I honestly was very lucky to meet them and they made our stay more fun. Today we're having a crazy snowstorm. There's too much snow. We're trying to get for breakfast to the restaurant of the hotel. The weather is just insane. I know how we're gonna get ever home. Obviously no one's cleaning the roads as you can see. And uh, meet my new friends. Oh, So this is the reception and the restaurant area. You can have here your breakfast, lunch and dinner. Since they couldn't deliver to our room, we decided to come to the restaurant ourselves. Today I woke up at 6.30 am uh, because I couldn't sleep because of the storm because I'm very worried how we're gonna get back home tomorrow because tomorrow we are checking out and Iris is also in the hotel in Beirut so she's also checking out tomorrow we have to be back so yeah, we need a big cup, cup of coffee So here is our breakfast. It's uh, included in the room price. I hope, right? <laughs> okay, then we can eat. <laughs> With the beautiful view. Uh, I feel like soon the level of the snow will reach like till uh, here. The view got clearer now. The snow stopped. It's actually a very beautiful view. Originally we planned to visit different restaurants around Fakra and Faraya area because it's just 10 minutes away from Baskinta but we ended up just staying in the restaurant of the hotel. Anyway, it was very cozy and comfortable, there was a fireplace, we were reading books, so it was fun. Like, you know, for example, look, we are in Lebanon, don't forget, it's crazy end. So yeah, by the way guys, the latest update is that we are stuck here for two more days because obviously how can we go like this home? We have uh, summer wheels, by the way, so we decided not to risk it. Hopefully the storm will finish in two days. And hopefully we'll survive. Get back to you. I will get back to you, hopefully. Where is the dog? <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. How will we ever ever get our car out of this? Don't tell me you forgot it in the restaurant. Because I'm not walking back there, it's so far. Did you find? Hi my friends! <laughs> in the hotel where to get to your room you need to climb a mountain oh my god so our dinner arrived <laughs> the storm is so strong i'm sure our food is like cold by the time they were able to get it so how do you want to go for breakfast <laughs> oh my god uh, our car is somewhere under the snow. How will we find it? <laughs> we're stuck. We're stuck here forever. <laughs> oh my god! How are we gonna get any food? Last night the storm was extremely strong, so I was very worried for the puppies. And when I saw them the next morning, I was extremely happy that they're fine. It means they have a shelter. So we went all together again to the restaurant to have some food and coffee. It's very hard to walk through the snow, but there is nothing I wouldn't do for a cup of coffee. Oh, I really wanted to do that. Hi! For lunch we had mushroom soup, I really loved it, with truffle oil, a sandwich with chicken and avocado and truffle fries, 
while. Then we were reading the book next to the fireplace. restaurant where we had steak and watch Netflix all by ourselves. Now they are getting our car under the snow and they said we can go home. Guys, how, how many chances of survival with our summer moves do you think we'll have? So we left the guest house. Uh, I didn't like that they made us pay for the nights that uh, like we had to stay because of the storm. Like it wasn't our fault that the roads were blocked. So yeah, that's kind of didn't leave a good like feeling about them in the end. But yeah, guys, we'll update you if we make it to Beirut. I really hope so because don't feel like coming back to the place now. So guys, we moved out of the hotel trying to make it through but there are a lot of uh, snow stones or I don't know what it is for us to pass after the move So yes, in the end, guys, we made it to Beirut, safe and sound, but um, also raining in here. It was quite an adventure. I don't regret at all that we went there during the snowstorm because it's one experience that we would never ever forget for sure. And um, yeah, like, subscribe, follow my YouTube channel. I would really, really appreciate that. Yeah.